Hello and welcome to this video about the list.map function in f -sharp. Here is the situation. We have a list and we want to transform each element using some function f and put the results into a new list. In f -sharp, we can do this easily by using the list.map function. Note that the original input list will not be modified. Here is the function signature of list.map. Let's break down the individual parts. The first argument is a function from some type t to some type u. This is the transformation you want to apply to each element. The second argument is the input list with elements of type t. And the output is the result list where we have all the transformed elements with type u. Note that the transformation function can convert elements from one type to another. This means that we can use list.map on a list of strings and get out a list of integers, for example. Let's go into the editor and write some examples to make all of this clear. In the first example, we square some integers. We use list.map and give it a function which takes in a number x and returns the square of that number. For the second argument, the input list, we will use a simple list of integers 1, 2, 3, 4. This is what happens when we run the code. We get a new list, the result list, which contains the squares 1, 4, 9 and 16. In the second example, we will find the square root of some floats. This time, the transformation function will be the built-in square root function, and I want the square root of 0 0.25, 9, and 64. When we run the code, we get a new list with the values 0 0.5, 3, and 8, as expected. Let's do a final example, where the elements of the input and output list have different types. We will use list.map to find the length of some strings. The transformation function will be string.length and for the input list, let's use some programming language names. Here is the result. The result list contains the integers 2, 3, 4, which is exactly the length of the strings in the input list. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, then leave a like and subscribe to my channel.